Nope. Oh. Yeah, I remember the dip. So right here at the dip, we used to make a left. Yeah, I mean, that truck's probably pretty rotted. We'll get down there. We'll be cutting all of this out if we're taking the whole truck. There's the cab over. Oh, yeah. There it is. There is the Ford four-door cab over. It ain't terrible. I'd like to have the whole truck. I mean, it's totally worth taking the whole thing. So, How did that even break? Now we got a problem. extra crappy this morning in Pittsburgh. It's a little light rain. Kind of made getting here with an open bed pickup kind of hard. It's making loading the truck kind of hard, but we're going to drive out of it. I think a lot of this is coming up from Florida, staying on the east, and we're heading to the Midwest. So, should be out of this in a couple hours. We'll get our stuff in the truck and get on the road, get locked up here. Alright, just made our delivery. Now we are headed to Iowa to see what the situation is with this Ford cab over. See if I'm going to take the whole truck or if I'm just going to take parts off of it and run. We'll see. I already talked to the guy. He's expecting us. That's it. It's starting to get chillier as we go. It was real warm at home and it's a little nipply out here. the old boom truck that he wanted me to use. 
Oh, he wanted you to use that to pull that out? Yeah, he was like, you can use that to get the truck out. I'm like, Wayne. Bro, what? No. <laughs> it doesn't even have a door. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that, buddy. I don't even remember how to get to the truck. I think it's down there, though. warmer when we were here the last time. Was it summertime? Yeah, it was, um, I'd have to look it up, but yeah, it was warm. On schedule, it would have been a lot better off. I, I honest to God, I, I have no idea which way to go. I know we went downhill. Okay, there's water over there, so it's not that way. Oh man, nice little race car guy. Or derby car, at least. Okay, okay, there's a school bus over there. But here's a property line fence, so. Uh, that might be the neighbor's cars then. Maybe this is Colorado's over here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, uh, right down there. You can right see the path, yeah. Here. Yeah, this is it. Yep. I just don't remember the car. Good. But this is definitely the road. Yeah, there's a little short box or a long box Ford F100 up there. And a Buick with a 56 Buick. It's kind of good that we're here when it's this time of year because there's no ticks. There's no spiders, there's no wasps, there's nothing. I mean, my big concern is people hunting, but I would assume that Wayne would know if somebody was hunting back here. Like so far, just with the bobcat, or just with the chainsaw, really, I could get truck and trailer in here. It feels pretty solid. Yeah, I remember the dip. So right here at the dip, we used to make a left. Because I remember up over that hill goes back to like a bunch of other stuff. So this is where you'd have a problem. Uh, well, now I got to think because I don't know if we go. We're gonna go this way. This is the path. We we'll go this way. <clears throat> I did drive my truck down through there though, and this is it's real ruddy right here. The trailer was bottom out. Right there. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a decent short box F1 down there. I probably couldn't see it the last time we were here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. I thought so. Yeah, I mean, that truck's probably pretty rotted. We'll get down there in a second. It, it all kind of like gets down close. But yeah, I'm going to have to be cutting all of this down if we're taking the whole truck. The cab over is back here. It's not terribly far from us right here. It's going to be over on our left somewhere. I don't even know if we're getting a skid loader in here because this is getting this is getting kind of soft for a skid loader. Even a track machine, we're getting kind of soft here. Oh yeah, there's stuff back there. Yeah, there ain't no way I'm getting more truck. <laughs> I have to move too much shit. There's no way I'm getting the trailer back here. And there's also absolutely no way I'm getting the bobcat back here. Even if I can get the skid loader back here, I see the cab over. There's, there's, there's a no, hole right there. Yeah, there's no chance that I'm, um, I mean, We're just so far, this thing not rolling and I can't get my trailer to it. I mean, yeah, we're not, this is gonna be a grill recovery mission. There's the cab over. Oh yeah. Yeah, who knows, there might be an easy way out over here, but it ain't going out that way. It's missing a set of wheels too. All right, so there it is. There is the uh, Ford four-door cab over. So I found this truck about four years ago. 
I met this guy at an auction. We were out here for the big gabling sale in uh, Yarmouth, Iowa. And um, I met this guy at the auction. He asked me if I wanted to come over and buy some more stuff. Said he had a bunch of junk. So sure enough, he has a bunch of junk. That's for sure. I don't know how, if I wanted to get this whole thing out of here with the skid loader, how I would even do it. I'd have to pick it up from the rear and drag it. But let's take a, let's have a look at the truck and see if it's worth saving. The whole thing beyond some parts. Let's suck up this way. I mean, it ain't terrible. I'd like to have the whole truck, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it out or not. It just means you I don't know. Yeah. That's a three door. Just like the Mac, huh? Yep. I wonder if I can get this tree off of here without the saw. Let me see. It's dead, right? Yeah. You could easily throw that. I don't know about these, but yeah, it was. Gonna do it. That didn't even mess the grill up. That's perfect. So, I mean, worst case, we'll just get the grill. Let's find out if there's. We'll take a walk down that way. I want to get a bunch of pictures of this thing. And, uh, I mean, it's totally worth taking the whole thing. Definitely worth taking the whole thing. I just don't know. I mean, a skid loader can get it. We just have to, again, got to see if there's a way in. All right, so we're going to walk and talk a little bit while I try and figure out an exit strategy because the way we came in, that truck's not going out. Not easy anyways. I could probably do it, but it's not going to be not going to be easy. We can do it if we have to, but hopefully this leads out to some farm road or something that you know, I'd rather like go over a culvert, fill a culvert up with dirt and redig it and go easier than that way. That way is kind of treacherous looking, so we're gonna walk and talk about what's here. We got a Chevy half ton swoop bed here. It's super rusty, but we're gonna take the hood. The hood's good. I'm gonna take the headlight retainers and stuff like that, uh, tailgate off of it, get a couple little things there. See if somebody took the grill off of it. Yeah, this was a Ford base. I've had a couple of these. The grill's gone, so it's like kind of really hard to get into this. I don't really know what that is. Plymouth, maybe? It's like a couple of cars. Dodge, yeah. There was a, a truck too next to this milk truck. A Cavell up there on the hill or a Malibu. Uh, let's see, we've got a 58 Chevy here. 58 four door Bel Air. More trucks in here, big truck stuff, conventional front end. Nothing special. Couple smashed cars down in the creek bed. Look at that, just hoods over there, roofs over there. It's a good thing I brought the chainsaw because if we're gonna try and get this thing out. Yeah, big international. Oh, look at this, an automobile. That's a really cool car. All right, so no, we can't take it out this way because this is the end of his property line and it doesn't look or sound like there's gonna be any road. I know the area enough that there's, there's no road over here until maybe the other side of this property, so. Let's go ahead and walk back this way and try and figure out how we could possibly get the truck out of there. I really like this old thing. Yeah. These were, I mean, I would never even consider pulling it out of here. That's ah, just rocket motor or something. Not special. Beautiful car though. It's a 58. I love that big long trim. I won't be able to get that door open, but a lot of good trim on that car. Unfortunately, it's not super desirable. They had those uh, quad reverse lights on the bumper ends. I think it's an awesome car, but most people don't. It's a 59 Italic better. A bunch of loose tailgates here. There's another one there. Let's take another Ford. Oh, 
was a cool show. Alright, let's head back before it gets dark. Let's get a plan here. Worst case, we'll just take the drill, but you know, it seems like if I get the Bobcat in here that I could probably take the trailer to the truck. I think I could do it. Take your know. trailer or the Bobcat trailer? My tilt deck. Oh, okay. I think I can get my tilt deck to the cab over and then pull the trailer up here or push it with the Bobcat. Probably pull it in reverse because once I bring the trailer or the Bobcat around and through, I'll find anything in the dirt that's going to be a tire issue for the trailer. We'll get rid of that. I might switch our rental to an excavator though. I could do this faster with an excavator with a blade. That would be my tool of choice. Can't bring the trailer down here with the excavator. I could get that truck all the way up here with an excavator. Because moving the trees would be a lot easier picking with a thumb. I could just keep pulling the truck towards me. Track backwards, drop the blade, pull it. I guess we'll have to have to see what size excavators they have. Or I do it all with a skid loader and it's super easy. I don't know. I mean, I think it's doable. That is, I'm moving that truck really far though. That's why I think taking the trailer to the truck, then you got rolling wheels. I think that's the way to go. I can clear this all out big enough to get the trailer down here. I'm leaving that tailgate here till tomorrow, so I don't gotta carry it. I'd like to get the whole truck. Just because it is so cool, but I also don't know if it's worth getting the whole truck. Let's walk this again. Let me go look at this truck up close one more time. There's some remnants of a motorcycle here. What? Remnants of a motorcycle here. Whew. It's all chewed up like it already went through this shredder once or something. Oh, good God, it's not heavy. Oh, man. It's been in there for a while. Well, that's what I call original. That's got patina. Uh -huh. I mean, I know that truck probably only weighs 4,000 pounds, maybe. And the skid loader weighs 8. If I could get it drug out to here, and then what I would want to try and do is find like that big tree up there. Maybe wedge the front of the trailer deck up against that tree. I know that sounds terrible, but if I couldn't winch that up on, then I could push the truck up onto the trailer with the skid loader and then just pull it off the tree. I don't know about putting a $10,000 trailer into a tree, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Man. She is rusty. I don't know what anybody would say. I guess it's savable, but. Yeah, I mean the bottom, whole bottom of the cab shot up here is shot, but it's pretty solid. Like that's that's workable. Like you got some metal there to work with. I don't think the front wheels are turning though. If I could get the front wheels to turn and air up, we'd be in business. I wouldn't even bring the trailer down here. There's no use in even trying to steer it because it... it... I can see if the steering won't give it all. See if the steering box is suddenly locked up. I didn't even check to see if there's a motor in it. There isn't. There is not? No. Oh man, she's... Oh. No, so she isn't going to steer either and the wheels aren't straight. Now that doesn't mean that I couldn't get it free with the bobcat though. Well, steering wheel ain't gonna steer. Oh god. That was minimal, minimal pressure to steer. No motor right now, flathead's gone. Nope. So that lightens the load. I'm dropping this. Go ahead. All right, it didn't fall. But with this thing steering crooked, that's no bueno. So unless we could get it straightened out with like a chain, like once I get it up out of the earth, maybe I can take the pitman arm off and we can get it to steer. I think the move is bring the trailer to this. I'm just kind of afraid to bring my trailer down in here.
would be really cool to take the whole truck with. And I can make it roll at home. I still can't believe somebody took the doors off of it. I don't understand that. This car's full of tailgates. Dodge tailgate with Ford Tesla. got him in there. I think it's worth getting. I'm here. Right. We drove 10 hours for it. You might as well yeah. just try. The next day. Good morning, everyone. We are on our way to the rental center to pick up uh, the skid loader this morning, which is kind of really convenient because it comes with a trailer as a part of the rental. So I don't have to worry about getting this cab over loaded up on my trailer and then having to unload it to use my trailer to take their skid loader back so this is cool yeah, what a dinky little trailer they got that thing on too and it's a smooth bucket i wonder if they have the door for it yeah we're gonna ask them if they have the door right, let's go in and see them we gotta do some shopping anyways not as nice as the Max trailer, but it'll do, I guess.
Well, I thought you had it. It looked like you had it. This is how long? Yeah. Alright, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's rock. <coughs> 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 Dude, it's just like, just wide enough. You're good. Might hit that, but. <coughs> Clear still. All right. <coughs> What are we doing now? Yeah. Right through the wheel. 
Gotcha. Where's your gloves? In my pocket. It's okay. You're clear up front. <coughs> You're good still. You're good still. All right, you're free. I'll fix that in a second. Just got f***ing assaulted by a tree. Might square it up a little bit and then go get on that trailer and we're just gonna try pulling it up. All right. Like I said, I can push the trailer underneath it. Yeah. I just, I'm gonna go around the side of it, push this front wheel straight. We might have to use the chain to get the front wheel straight and then we're gonna try and get it on the trailer. And then I'll go in reverse until we get to that big clearing up there. When we hit the big clearing, I'm going to try and spin it. Okay, then you'll push it? I'm going to push it up out of here. Yeah, I'm not going to try and pull it up out of here. Sounds like a plan. I don't think this machine has much... I don't know, it's got a lot of power in reverse, but I can't see shit. All right, I'm going to fire this thing up. Let's try and get that front wheel straight, Shane, and then I'm going right. to get around that trailer. Sounds like a plan. This is the tree that assaulted me. All right, so you want me to hook the chain onto the wheel, and you're going to pull it back? I'm gonna pull the wheel. Actually, let me try and push it. All right. I'll try and push it with the ball, and if it don't move, then we'll trade it. All right. Don't impale yourself with this big stick right here. I'll move it. There you go. This is the difficult part. Winching up. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part. Um, if anything's going to be really hard today, it's going to be getting this on the trailer and then getting the trailer out of here. I'm worried about getting the trailer out. Under dirt, either one. Well, this will be a lot of fun right here. That bumper's strong enough. You could hook on to it. That would be. That's all it got here. Okay. Tell you that. All right. Come on, baby. So if something breaks, the rope won't get you. When this thing blows apart, that'll get you. So make sure you, you got a big bar to put in that spoke of that wheel. Me? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. All I did was pull a bumper off. Oh, baby. Last little bit. Yep. Oh, we're on. We're on. Yep. All right, let me pull this down. You got to... You got a snatch lock? 
Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but once I, I'll just slide it and put it where I want it with the machine. Oh, and I need to get the other side. Good. Yep. Onward. You see my eyes behind me for now? Yep. Where'd it go? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Stuck. I mean, I could probably get it with the Sierra too. I'd rather use his truck. Do you think if we attach his truck to this Bobcat? No, we just hook him straight to the trailer. And then that way I could push the trailer. Right. What do you think? You think your truck will pull it? A four wheel drive will. Yeah. It ain't gonna take much. Right. It's, uh, there's rock underneath of there, but it just run dirt down on top of it yeah because i could probably get out of the way i could probably drop it and then i can get out of the way you got a ball on your truck i haven't got a full wheel drive sir. oh yours isn't no so we got to bring mine rain down the sierra yeah this trailer's digging some real deep ruts in that'd be it'd been nice if you guys could have got a run at it you know it's a little speed get up a little speed well i can should we try that one more time yeah. go like all the way down yep let's try getting a big run at it all right, good. I don't know how much further I want to go. What? Probably right here. the trailer down. I bring your truck down now. I just want to get it out and then yeah, let's drop the jack. I'm gonna just rebite it. I need to get up here. Okay. everybody minor hiccup that was expected it was definitely on the menu that machine is plenty strong but we're kind of lacking some traction down there 
we were able to get it all the way up the hill, the top of the hill on a turn. Now this road going down in here is pretty decent. So we're hoping that we're gonna hook up my Sierra to it and pull it out full wheel drive. So that's the plan. Then we have a bunch of parts to collect, but we're not gonna do that yet. We wanna make sure this doesn't turn into a nightmare first. So hook the truck to the trailer, see what we got. Good, just keep going. No, you're good. Ready? Yeah, hold on. What do I got going wrong here? Okay, it just slid in. Yeah, you got you fight yourself somehow. What are you doing? I left the trailer. Oh. Mission failed. We'll go next time. All right. All right. See, tech. I mean, you did it, but it's okay because it was an honest mistake. So what happened here is. And this shouldn't do this. This is really a max D issue. Is you brought this up so high, you cut that, it. That yeah. So anytime a trailer jack gets that tight, it's just too tight. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's okay though, because we can we can deal with this. Don't worry about it. So. Good grip. Cool. Thank God. Yep. It's okay. There's always a way to fix something. And luckily for you, I'm getting really old and really know how to do a lot of stuff. You're good, go! Good, no worries. Do what you need to do. I'm not too worried about it. <sighs> All right. <coughs> yeah, that's a lot of chain. All right.
one was in there since before they flipped the car over. Because I think this was definitely, this tailgate was laid in here and then the car got flipped up on edge. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. Come on. There's so many bedsides and everything. You don't have any red batteries left either. This one's good, yeah. Mine has an Allen wrench key. There you go. This one's got like tar all over it. Huh? Here's that dirt. Whew. Step, buddy. Don't step back. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <sighs> Whoa. <clears throat> Almost died. Throw it. You want me to just sit on them? Oh. All righty. Sir, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Watch yourself if this bush doesn't pop back up. Yeah, well, I'm gonna move this box. Are this turn signals? Reflectors. Reflectors. They're actually jewels. They're pretty good. Oh, yes, sir. How much space do I got? There. Right there. Now we're good. Go. Tailgates. Ah. 
Yeah, I push that one, push that one in the deep in the center. Yeah. I haven't Way you can get it. I need to move that screw. That'll work. Let's just get them out. Alright. Where'd it go? Uh. <coughs> How much you want? Look at that one, full ice. Yeah. I was moving around, moving my wood wagon this morning. I seen another one, but I can't remember where it was. That's a hell of a long frame on that truck. Yeah. Ooh. So the road, the road goes right through here, right down over the hill and through the fence. I drove a tractor out there the other day for the fireman in Burnington for a demonstration. Somebody stole it from them over at Mammoth, the Galesburg, Illinois. Yeah. I ain't got my tractor back. Oh, man. Here, the road goes right down there. Nobody, nobody wants to take blame for it. You told me about that when I called you a couple months ago. The fireman. All right. I'm gonna go get the machine. I'm gonna go scout. I'll get on scout. just died. I almost got run over by the skid steer. Trying to grab the camera. Go figure. Got some tailgate. We got one of those. It looks like there's a C10. There's a Dodson tailgate. Here. It smells like mint. Very minty. Look at this old school bus. Look at that. The question is, can I get inside? Dude, he's going hammer. Pull gas tank. Ford's falling in. Wow. Just like back in the day. So small. Everything was so much smaller. So much smaller. Oh my god, El Ranchero. El Ranchero. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, cars. Oh, wait, there's an Impala over there. Richard. No, no, we just got to dig it out. Really? 
Yeah. yeah. That's not good. Yeah, and I've drained the, all the charge. The charger's drained too already. What, the fast charger? Yeah. I didn't know. This is a pass. Yeah. It's trying to walk the Appalachian Trail and like got lost and then ended up spending like 29 days in the woods. Lost the bearing. She was like a professional hiker too. Oh really? Yeah, in an article was like no matter how experienced you think you are, you can still Look, you've never seen one of these things before, Pete? What? These things? Yeah. They're monkey balls. You didn't know what they were there when I brought it up to you. Well, because I don't have any trees that I go to. Yeah, they were all over around where I grew up, so I know what they are. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can get this out and not knock it all off. Okay, you just gotta break tree branches. Sides and then every, all this shit was in the bed. So let's we'll lay it out. See what you want to sell. That's a big truck fender. Look. But. Yeah. Hippie man. Big ass windows cut in it. We'll go this way. I remember how this is laid out. Oh, is that a Model A? Model A to the sedan, man. International truck bed trailer. Looks like a Camaro in there. 70 something. I'll tell them to pay for the machine. I'll bring it over. I'll go haul it in. I'll fix this culvert for them. I'll just trade them. That's a good deal. Yeah. I'm ready to be done. We got so much stuff to do. We got a really good load. I don't have that much room left. Pull up, come in.
the Ranchero. International. All right. All done, folks. We did what we came here to do, and then we did a bunch more, and we got a lot of good stuff. There's a couple pieces back here that maybe in another couple of years I'll get to, but um, that's it. It's time to go. Time to get loaded up. Got to return the skid loader still, run that down a half hour away, half hour back, get our trailer, get up to Cedar Rapids, do some more business, and hopefully grab a meal and hang it up somewhere soon, because I am, I am beat. I know Shane's tired too, because that was a... That was a hell of a day and we're lucky that uh that we didn't get stuck i was nervous there for a minute about getting that trailer and that bobcat stuck that's it it's snowing it's cold but we rocked it and we did an awesome job and i'm very happy i had a lot of anxiety last night about just getting into just a huge mess trying to get that truck and i struggled a lot as you guys can see in the video um i struggled all day with that bobcat the pilot controls in there i'm not used to i can run anything but uh it's nothing like the excavator. I mean, the machine was plenty strong. As you saw in a video, it plucked that thing right up out of the woods. I was, me and Shane looked at each other like, oh my God, that wasn't even, wasn't even suspenseful. It just, <laughs> it just popped it right up out of the ground. So there's a truck back here. We'll show you while we got the camera rolling. But this truck here behind, probably gonna come back for that truck. It's 60 to 66. It's actually a three quarter ton long bed. It's got really nice patina. It's totally all complete. Rot, you know, minimal rot, minimal rust. Um, just a pretty cool old farm truck. There's a Dodge swept line bed back here. It's actually kind of hard to find. We'll probably get that. And uh, there's another food side bed over here. We'll show you. It's just got. It's a very, very, very nice patina that's very common for guys building. So we're very sought after. It's a baby blue. So we're kind of limited now. We're limping right now with the chainsaw being out and then this road being washed out. We're kind of, kind of pretty much done picking wise. We're just gonna grab. Uh, Two more fenders here. All the GoPro batteries are dead. Pretty much down to a drone and an iPhone. I'm sure people will be asking, is certain are certain things for sale? I think everything here is for sale, but anything you just saw up in this portion of the video is kind of like gonna be really difficult to get out. And he can't help, he's 85. So I would be the one facilitating this. Nobody's dealing direct with the guy. That's not how anybody does it, including me. So if you're interested in something you saw in the video, um, let me know. I can write your name down next time I come out here. I can get your photos or whatever, but um, he doesn't do photos. He doesn't really care to deal with anybody. He just, honestly, I met him in an auction four years ago. We were just hanging out, kind of BSing, and uh, he just got along good with me. My dad and my grandfather and invited us over. So. But he doesn't really care to have anybody on his land. There's a lot of guys down. He's had a lot of theft here, so I'm ready for a sandwich. How about you? Oh, I'm ready for a sandwich. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on a YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback mustang that needs work like these ones i have on my trailer or if you have an old pickup or again a convertible impala cab over truck whether it doesn't matter where you are we buy nationwide here in the united states all the way as far as california i've had stuff new mexico arizona oregon washington high desert stuff we love so or if you're in the east coast and it's a rusty mustang or a rusty convertible impala that is fine we typically don't buy many trucks on the east coast but i buy a lot of cars on the east coast if you have cab over parts also especially for these early fords i'd be interested in that and never hurts to send me an email or a text ironcitygarage at gmail.com you're welcome to send me an email or a text message probably the best you kind of get an instant answer that way 412-335-6100 i'd love to talk to you hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages